friends in the entertainment industry. You undoubtedly know from the title that the film North by Northwest is a picture with a great deal of direction to it. And I hesitate even to add that some of the principles in it have names and reputations not entirely unknown to the public you serve. Terry Grant, Miss Eva Marie Saint, and James Mason, among others. It seems academic, too, for me to suggest that this film is one of the greatest adventure and mystery stories ever produced, and that it does not require a shred of paid advertising to help you publicize it to your discerning public. Nevertheless, several of MGM's executives have seen fit to place, if you will pardon the expression, an advertising message in the pages of life. Which has a circulation of 6,200,000 people each and every week. A rather large publication. Which in the course of 13 issues reaches more than 70% of all the households there are in the country. A rather impressive publication. With such strong local impact, Life had six times more newspaper tie-in lineage last year than the next two general magazines combined. In the event that you should hear voices in the background, please do not be disconcerted. These are merely recordings from outer space. No other magazine gets results so swiftly, so surely. As I was saying when so rudely interrupted by static, this rather outstanding publication with 32 million readers each week is one of the reasons why North by Northwest is going to slash, I've been asked not to use that nasty word, murder, attendance record. Another good reason is that the film which by now you may gather has absolutely nothing to do with the magazine publishing business, is so good it is worth the modest investment its backers have placed in life. The magazine with selling impact, which I occasionally read myself.